Hello everyone, you're listening to SMUB's Campus Radio. Say what you want to say. I'm Nicole, and on this episode of Music in the Making, we have Yems here with us. His latest 14-track album release, Daydreams, is not only diverse in sound, but also explores many different themes. But before we dive into your new album release, we also want to get to know a little bit more about you. So, hi Yems, would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, so my name is Yems, I do music. I'm a I guess, musician and producer and singer-songwriter. Um, I just graduated from Yale and US College last year. Um, so I've been working freelance and part-time for about a year-ish, yeah, slightly under a year. So moving on from like your latest album release, Daydreams, so congrats by the way. Yeah, would you like to tell us more about it? Like what does this album mean to you? Um, so as I shared, I recently graduated, I just graduated from Yale and US. Um, where I majored in Arts and Humanities. So the album was actually my capstone or uh, my final year thesis. And I guess my approach towards that album was, I was trying to, you know, because it's a final year thesis, right? On top of being an album. So I, I also tried to take a more academic, theoretical approach with it. But the questions that I was trying to answer through the writing of the album was issues around sort of what it means to be Singaporean, um, what it means to be a Singaporean musician, what it means to make music in Singapore, and like what, what, what is Singaporean music? One of the main themes were like dreams, right? So that's like a main part of your album. What's your definition then of having a dream? Is it like your inspirations? I think it's just anything that you desire in your heart, um, which can be a difficult thing to 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 acknowledge or to, or to say out loud. I think. I mean, I mean, I mean, for myself, I I think my dream is to be an artist. My dream is to be a musician. And, you know, make make art. But for a long time, I didn't dare to say that out loud. I think also because when you voice it out to other people, like it's kind of like the expectation that you really can't set, and then you have to like go towards it. And sure. Then yeah. If you fail, everybody also knows. Yeah, 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 yeah. So speaking of having dreams, this is actually a perfect segue to introduce Yem's first live performance today. So he'll be performing the twelfth song from his album titled Moon. So take it away, Yem's. When the world gets crazy, I've been thinking lately, won't you dive in with me and this sinking feeling I Feel it changing, I can breathe in All these thoughts I've hated All these days you've waited, I can see The sky and the stars They're taking all the days we've gave them to the night I am singing ooh, 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 can cross paths in the night Maybe just for a while As the earth turns from dark to light When the world gets crazy I've been thinking lately Sinking feeling, I can feel it changing. I can breathe in. Ooh, 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 ooh.
thanks for the performance, Yams. That was great. So besides the themes that we covered just now, like dreams and stuff, are there any other main subject themes that this album covers? I think loss. Loss is definitely one. Loss and like the idea of leaving. So throughout the through the process of the album, um, the narrator sort of grapples with this idea of of of, of loss and people who have left his life, um, and also the narrator I think grapples with wanting to leave his own body and 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 person. Um, but finally, by the end of the album, I think the narrator like realizes that the the opposite of leaving is 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 love or like sounds a bit cliche. Um, but I, I think there's something that I I found as well like through my, my process of writing the album. And you know, struggling through dark times, and wanting to leave, very, wanting very much to leave, I, I realized that the answer was not to stay, but to to love or to let you know to open your heart to love. Or yeah, okay. I think we're getting more and more cliche by the by the minute. I think I I, I should stop talking lah. Now that you mentioned so leave and love, I guess that there are a lot more like heavy subject themes that this album covers. So I'm guessing there's going to be also a lot of vulnerability involved when you're like writing stuff that's so personal to you as well. Would you consider yourself then a more open person or like a more reserved um, in terms of like sharing your past or your emotions? Um, I think that's changed over the years, and th- that's that's a great question, by the way. I I think I always consider myself an open person, and then over the years, many people will tell me that I'm, I'm actually very private or like I barely talk about myself. Um, I like to describe myself as like an open book, where you have to flip the pages like manually. Like if you ask me anything, I, I'm happy to talk about it, but it, it's often I I won't bring it up myself. If that makes sense. So basically, you're comfortable with sharing your emotions. Yeah. It's just that yeah. you just kind of wait for someone to like ask. It's not my instinct to say it out loud. I, I think I'm kind of similar in aspect as well. Yeah. Right. So actually, when we listen to your songs, I think you really articulate like a lot of struggles that a lot of us, you know, youth, especially now in this generation, like what we experience in terms of societal expectations. So, what is your experience in dealing with these struggles? I guess to answer that specifically, in in response to what you said about, um, you know, youth being a youth in Singapore, and it is quite an alienate, alienating experience. And sometimes you grow up here and you don't really feel like. You are, you belong here, or like there's a place for you here, or like you're meant to be here. Um, if, if that makes sense, you know, it's some of the social issues that people care or, or don't care about. Um, some of the you know things like that. Like like for for example, just like being an artist, like your whole life, you know, people tell you you you, you can't do that. You're not supposed to do that. There's no money in that. A goal that I had in mind while writing the album was to express this sort of loneliness um, or this alienation, and to try and. Hope, hope that people would connect to it in some way. I guess yeah. So, what advice would you have for people who are like struggling to deal with all of this, and then they constantly feel like they're alone? I guess the only advice that I can give is you know what what's worked for me, what I know has worked for me before. Um, and I, I guess this this might not apply to everyone, but I I I try to lean on the people that that I care about and and that I hold close to me. Um, and like to try and. Remember how how good a lot of things are. Yeah, I guess really appreciating the the little things in life as well. Then, what's your approach to life like like you know right now? I just graduated from uni, right? And in uni, you know, there's a timetable, there's a structure, there's like two semesters a year. Um, so coming out of that into adulthood, where it's just every week's the same kind of, you know, there's no there's no there's no structure like this anymore. It's something that I've got, I kind of had to adjust to, um, but now now that I don't have now that my my life doesn't have a uh, temporal structure to align myself to, I find that I I realize I'm I'm the one who has to set you know these schedules and deadlines and timetables for myself. Thank you so much for joining us today, Yams. I'm definitely looking forward to your future releases as well. Thanks thanks for having me, Nicole. It's lovely to meet you. Before we go. Yem will also be performing one of my other favorite tracks on the album, so it's perfect for the road trip kind of vibes. This song is called "Do You Drive a Nice Car." Once again, I'm Nicole, and you're listening to SNUB's Campus Radio. Say what you want to say. Do you drive a nice car? Do you like to go to the spa? Do you sleep alone at night? With 
with your Bible beside? Do you have a big house with all the dollars that you've compiled? I know you don't miss that, that's all right. But do you think about us at night? Dear mom, I've been thinking about the last time I saw you Thinking that it was the last time before you Cut me off, off the phone, shut me off, all alone Never thought I'd be the one without you to call My best friend said I really did change a lot My hair length's gone long to short, long to short Yeah, yeah, long to short, long to short, uh The first two years were the worst birthdays No words said you were a verse too late The birds fit grew up and flew to school While well, you just sat and tried to sue Take your rifle apart with your hard heart Turn the light to dark Cause I could not partake in this wake for the love you had, yeah Hearing you then only made me mad uh, Hearing how you hit that twist Cause that part's alright Cause you messed it up Put you uptight all night Let you tear your faith too 27 years He was never ever faithful So you made moves Just yourself free I support that Forget all the things you lose I would call that Natural collateral Things will make you fall back But how come When I call you Call back On track to avoid Started when you only cared about the coin Only had his money on your mind Declined to find peace Peace in me feels like A sign of least tossed Aside when you're done to wonder, did you think about the truth? Did you burn the tears from three and a half years? The days that I saw your face. So, do you drive a nice car? Do you like to go to the spa? Do you sleep alone at night with your Bible beside? Do you have a big house? With all the dollars that you've compiled I know you don't miss that, that's alright Do you think about us at night? Stumps left in the ground. The sound I hear is like ringing in my right ear. Bright lights and white tears. Light singing in your backseat, keeping me asleep. Too deep to wake up. But what I do, always not by choice. Pack lunches and wake up calls. I realize I don't recall the sound of your voice. Do you miss me? Or do your dreams sound like ice cream? Trust falls in empty hallways, tall trees and quiet rides in your car beside a slow breeze much stronger. I no longer know who you are. So tell me why I still dream of you. Ooh.